apparently they're the most popular creatures right now. Oh, this time really? of year. That, beaver that, breeding. Those little guys are cute and cuddly looking. The beavers I've seen are bigger. And uh, not. Yeah, and, and they don't are they? look as friendly. So <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I've seen my beavers in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. There's just no way to keep that clean. Yeah, it's weather time. And they're all busted up like little kids. Was that a blooper? And these are in the regular news, huh? Dinner outside. Oh, wait a second. Oh. He can't do uh, that uh, uh, Oh, here, bunny's okay. bunking okay. on the desk. That's Perfect. Okay. You've got to stop that, Maura. I don't think that's appropriate. You're trying to get his freak on, huh? Leave the poor rabbits alone. Racing season is underway here at Mountain Hair Racetrack. Santorino's son here giving me the inside scoop on what oh, they do that's to so cute. For those oh, that wasn't. And what they do to prepare for those. <laughs> What they do to prepare for this. Oh, that hurt. What does your um, your dad and whatnot think about all this? Is he an athlete, your dad? Yeah, my dad was an athlete, but now he's um pretty fat. <laughs> pretty fat. Yeah. He, he used to he used to eat like two liters of ice cream every single night. <laughs> <laughs> Camel one. And then he used to get really angry. Kids at mom. will tell it like it is. I'll and tell you. He used to get really angry at mom because. Mum didn't always buy it for him. Yeah. Um, but then mum, but when dad got really angry, mum started buying it for him all the time. Yeah. And then he had to suck his gut in for photos. And it was really funny. Oh no, he's flat. Out of the mouths of babes. I hate to have her judge me. Bragging on her dad getting fat and eating ice cream on live TV. Perfect. Türkmen dedi Yunus Emre, Mevlana Hazretlerinden önce o toplantıya davet edilmiş. He's talking into a bagel. Oh, he's speaking into what? A maraca? What is that? <laughs> he doesn't even know what he's doing. Oh. <laughs> You're laughing here, buddy. He was having a senior moment, that's all. Yeah, that's an easy mistake, but that's, that's pretty funny. Sir, can I ask you what your lucky numbers are? Uh, I'm gonna pick 14, 24, 2, 7, and 15. Can I ask you if you won all the money, what would you do with it? Bunch of hookers and cocaine. Oh. <laughs> Bunch of hookers and cocaine. Oh, okay. Oh, Bunch of hookers and cocaine. Oh, okay. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> you keeping it real. Bunch of hookers and cocaine. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> probably what he would do. He's honest. <laughs> He's out of his gourd, but he's honest. I just knocked on the door of the resident's home and just spoke to the victim who was shot. He's actually walking up right now as we speak. Sir, can you please tell us what happened? You know, I'm in the room, chilling, kicking like I usually do. He's so high. He shot right through my back window, hit me in the chest. I ain't even tripping, though. Oh, That's be awesome. cool, man. You are so cool. On your chest where you were shot. Are we able to see that right now? Or? Yeah, y'all can see that. Ah. So, oh, my God. Okay, so what do what you kind do of journalism you know? is that? It's just there like nothing's going on. I don't know what's going on, man. I just know Nick Price going to be dead. Like, on some other stuff. You think he's had enough of smoke? Kind of a sad commentary that, you know, if you're in a neighborhood where this stuff's going on, you know, it's just like... You know, it happened, I'm here, you know, no big deal. I got shot, yeah, yeah. When you take a step back, is there anything else you see in this oh, book? Sam, you didn't have to say that. What? <laughs> it's about as subtle as a sledgehammer, mate. Penis cloud. <laughs> Maybe Melissa did. She certainly had to look up. <laughs> That's a phallic cloud if I ever saw one. I could do the news, because I say things as crazy as they do. We like, also got a little toy I'd like to like try to play with, if you like. This is a willy sphere. Oh no. Yes. Now we have a penis sun oh, castle. We seem to have a theme going. Where do you get <laughs> all this really stuff? Cool. Um, these you can buy and those ones I make. <laughs> huh. Uh, no, How you know. What did I just make there? What did I just make there? Oh my god. I gotta get rid of that. My goodness. Erasing the testicles as fast as possible. Oh, where's these people's heads? You wouldn't see that in the first place. I don't think that's accidental. He said he'd had an emergency defecation situation and needed to use her bathroom, but the judge in the case found he had a sexual motive. <laughs> emergency defecation. <laughs> an emergency <laughs> defecation <laughs> situation. <laughs> Hey, you guys, cheer down, will you? 
<laughs> anyway, carry on, Hillary. This next story is so tragic, I cannot be laughing. Right. Investigators believe a bomb caused the explosion on a plane. The blast blew a hole in the side of the plane and one of the 74 passengers on board was sucked out, which is terrible. <laughs> And I'm not laughing at that. Those control- holes on airplanes are a joke. No one's... Get control of yourself. No, that... Mm-mm. Very inappropriate. <laughs> Today could be the day I lose my job. <laughs> yeah, you should. That's just wrong. It's funny, but it's just wrong. I love bloopers. I found them humorous. I thought they were very funny. It's nice to see people who are normally so under control and delivering the news, so probably just completely mess it up. Those are the cu- kinds of things I find hilarious. I've spent my life saying things that I wish I hadn't or that came out wrong, and so, yeah, I think that uh, I feel very sympathetic towards them. So news bloopers have consistently been something that people love to watch, and many go viral now online. What do you think it is about these types of videos that people seem to enjoy so much? Is a professional losing their shit? People like to see people make mistakes. It's kind of funny watching people that you respect being ridiculous, because you can relate to that. I remember when uh, bloopers first started, you know, they, I think there was this show called uh, Funniest Bloopers, but it was some kind of show specifically about bloopers. And it was hilarious. I can remember bloopers from the 1960s. There are some albums still available that you can buy from collectors, uh, radio bloopers, and they're pretty funny. So is the news something that you generally watch yourself? I have a habit of watching the news every morning. I do, because I want to know what's going on around the world. Yeah, I watch the news. It's important to know what's happening in your neighborhood, your city, your state, your country and across the world. I like that it keeps me informed on what's going on right then and there. It's extremely important to watch the news, even though today it's too much editorializing. Younger generations generally don't watch the news in a traditional way like you might, like watching it on the television or reading a newspaper. A lot of them get their news from the internet. That's right, fake news included. How does getting news from the internet differ from how you would traditionally get your news? My daughter gets the news before I do. It's more urgent, it's more recent, It can, and it's not as true. Hopefully the newspaper and some TV verify their news. On the internet, anybody can put down whatever they want. I got caught a couple of times myself. (laughs) A day doesn't go by where somebody posts something and I react to it and then I'll go to like Snopes. So it's completely untrue. People don't check anything, not unlike our reporters who don't check their sources. A lot of young people are getting misinformation and older people do. Things like this weren't around when I was young, so, you know, that, that's the way it was. I, I read the newspapers and we watched Walter Cronkite every night, and I trusted him. So finally, back to the bloopers, being an elder with lots of experience, what is your advice for these news reporters when these things happen? Oh, just slow down, take your time. Go for it, I <laughs> mean, because I like to giggle. If you call a lot of attention to what this thing is, it makes it that much worse. I think it's very, nice or very clever for them to continue on and kind of fluff over the mistake. Shout, go to commercial and make your producers do the work they should be doing. Just slit your throat, but be my... <laughs> no, that's a joke. <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> Dark. Thanks for watching this episode of Teens React. Oh, shit. For new content every week, hit the like button. Oh, wait. Thanks for watching. Hello, uh, goodbye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this. 